Welcome to another Crafting with Roswell. Today I'll be showing you how to make a book charm using Sculpey clay. In your kit, you'll receive a portion of the air dry clay. In your baggie, you will also have the jump ring and a paper clip. In your kit, you will also have a piece of embroidery thread, different colors, and a piece of wax paper. This wax paper can be used as your surface as you prep your clay and as your pieces dry. You will also need permanent markers or paint. The clay will pull the ink from the permanent marker through since it's a very porous surface. So if you're looking for a very clean finish, you might want to use like a Mod Podge or other sealant on your books or whatever you decide to make before you add paints or marker colorings. Pliers are recommended if you plan to use the actual jump ring. Scissors in order to cut apart your embroidery thread once that's used. And water nearby in case you find that your clay is drying out. Other extras would be a butter knife to help cut your small portion into smaller sections. And they sell Sculpey clay the air dry version in a variety of colors. So if you're not interested in white or making something different, definitely keep that in mind. To get started, I'm just going to break off a piece of this clay and actually divide it into three portions. You can have three the same size books, three different size books, it's really gonna be up to you. I'm just gonna show you how I did the basic shaping for one book. So I started by making a rectangle shape and then just giving it a little bit of kneading. This just helps blend the dough, warm it up a little bit to make it easier to work with. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is just using my fingers, I'm going to shape it into a rectangle, trying to keep it same dimensions. On all sides, and they don't have to be perfect again. It's a little homemade item. Next, I'm gonna use my paper clip to do a little shaping. So rather than create a book and have to wrap it in the cover, I'm just going to use my paper clip to gently push some of the clay in the middle away and towards the back to create a cover for my book. And once I do that on the bottom, I'm just going to round and do the same thing on the side, just kind of pushing over some of the clay to make the appearance of a book cover. And do the same thing along the top. And there we have a small book. You can just go back through and keep tweaking until you're happy with your book. As a final step, I just kind of brushed my paper clip along the sides, trying to give that little rough look like pages. And then I'm actually gonna allow the book to dry. So once your clay is completely dry, here's a book I made earlier. You'll see you have that enlarged cover, little page detail, and it looks like a book. And here's another example. You can see little black spots. It's not perfectly colored, but from a distance, you get the idea. So I'm gonna show you. So I just used a black Sharpie marker to color my book cover.
And just a quick painting job with the permanent marker to fill in my cover. He will get a little dirty in the process. And I have a silver Sharpie marker. I am not going to try to put a title on my tiny spine, but I am just gonna make little markers on the spine that kind of look like a classic book. And when this one dries, I'll be able to paint this one as well. But instead of waiting for this one to be fully dried, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can use embroidery thread to then connect these to your jump ring to act as a little dangling charm from a necklace, a bracelet, or even turn it into a keychain. So I have my two books. I have my piece of embroidery thread. And just think of it like you're wrapping a bow or a ribbon around presents. So I'm just gonna start with my thread across the top, wrap it around to the bottom. Just give it a little twist and cross it. And then flip it back over to the top. And then my favorite is to actually thread underneath. The string that's along the top of the book. Keeping that along the sides. And then do the same from the other direction with the other piece. Now that they are crossed through, going to tie a little knot. Your string's going to want to move. Just make sure you have a string across all four sides of your book. You can then tie this into a knot around your jump ring and then use your jump ring to hang this from a keychain, a necklace, unlimited options, a tassel on a bookmark that hangs out the side, all kinds of possibilities. If you have any questions, reach out to me in the Facebook comments, in the YouTube comments, or directly here at the library. But I hope you enjoy making a little book stack or whatever project you decide to use with your air dry clay. And again, I highly recommend waiting overnight because this should dry fully before you go to decorate and then work together to create a book stack charm. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back again next week with another project.